What's going on everyone? Gilman with Live Healthy Stocks back with another Tesla update video where we'll take a look at Tesla stock, especially why it was down today. It's down over 4% today. So we'll take a look at why it's down. We'll take a look at levels of support, levels of resistance. Then we'll get right into kind of what we think it could do in the future. So real quick, if you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to hit that like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you are new and comment down below what your thoughts on Tesla are. And I'd love to chat with you guys down there. Um, let me hit record and we will get right into it. So we are, oh, this is Neo. We are down about, oh, over 5% now. Last time I checked, it was a little bit over four. So, um, yeah, we are down almost 5% on the day. Um, so not too great of a day for Tesla stock as you guys, um, probably already know. So yesterday we, we closed kind of below our 848 level. Pre-market looked pretty good, right? We gapped up a little bit and then started selling off again, pretty much kind of right where we were at the end of uh, yesterday. And then right out of the gate, what we saw was a sell-off. Um, and every time I was trying to hit up VWAP, it was getting rejected, rejected, and then we got a nasty sell-off, right? That sell-off happened all across, right? Take a look at the major indexes, NASDAQ, take a look at S&P, um, which was pretty much flat. Dow, again, was up a little nasdaq which was down a little right apple um you know all pretty much across the board this nasty sell-off kind of in the at 10 o'clock mark right that definitely happened um the difference with tesla was it was looking weak before that as well and then that sell-off it was not really able to recover from too much a couple other companies um, that i just pointed out were able to recover from that fall but tesla was not so Right after that, it was a wild swing, right? So we went from kind of in the, the opening in the eight f mid 40s all the way down to the 804s, pushed up to the 820s, and then came right back down, bounced perfectly off of kind of that 800 level. Ours is at 802, uh, but $2 away, right? Um, 800 being kind of that mental support level, pushed up again, VWAP rejection, um, and then came down, pushed up, and then sold off right, and we are right at that $800 level. So why is Tesla down today? Well, um, one of the reasons is because yesterday, um, the, the one of their competitors, Rivian, um, announced that they're preparing for uh, an IPO. So Rivian is going public as early as September, targeting a $50 billion valuation. Um, they are, I mean, Bloomberg has said that Rivian is one of the highest profile competitors to Tesla, and they've raised more than $8 billion up to date from investors. So. Part of the reason I think was because of market weakness. Part of the reason, as we saw, was you know every uh, you know major company, major index was falling. But a part of it, I do think, is because of this Rivian news that came out yesterday. Um, so Rivian, again, according to Bloomberg, right? I'm quoting them here. Um, they're focused on building electric SUVs and pickups, um, where Tesla has struggled, right? So you guys know Tesla was going to come out with a pickup truck. Um, Tesla is trying to get that SUV market with their Model X, but it's a little bit more expensive expensively priced um, there is the model y right um, but you know rivian could compete with that so bloomberg does mention that it couldn't it maybe doesn't have to happen until end of this year or 2022 um, and they've only gotten half of the valuation that they're targeting um, but it's all about kind of the excitement behind a company and the potential of what a company could do so the more competition you have the less likely you know each individual like this they get a smaller piece of the pie potentially right not saying this is going to be the next tesla right but at the same time the more competitors there are um, the more tesla has to work to kind of capture that market share so that's what we are talking about and they've already got a uh, you know a um a contract with amazon for a hundred thousand of these vans and ten thousand of them are going to be uh expecting expected in the market next year so They've already got orders, uh, especially from a company like Amazon, so that's kind of pretty uh, impressive, right? So let's take a look at our daily chart. We'll see what we see. So you guys remember we were trading in this kind of bull pennant, broke out, then we started potentially trading in this, um, but I'm gonna draw a line right here to see if we find some support here and maybe start making a new bull pennant. That one was a little bit aggressive, and with the sell-off that we saw today, um, you know, it didn't look too good. I don't necessarily think that we are forming a new bull pennant yet. I'm just drawing this for the sake of having a drawing. I could remove this line and it wouldn't really impact me. I'm more concerned about how Tesla stock trades from a level of support and level of resistance right now, 
because it was super weak today, then I care about this bull pennant farming. So just wanna make that very, very clear. Um, next level of support that we have, um, we've got the 34 EMA coming here right at $791. We are now below the eight. We are now below the 21. Um, if you guys remember um, in my previous videos, we talked about how Tesla never closed below the eight EMA other than one day back in December. Recently with the fall after the earnings as well as kind of the ups and downs that it's had, you're right, it closed below the eight EMA and today it closed below the 21 EMA. But if we take a look here, the last time I did that right, it rebounded quite well the next day, it broke above the 21 and pushed at that eight. So if we see something like that happen, let's take a look at what we could push up towards. Um, so 8.30 around, um, so 21 EMA, 8.27 and the 8.30s, kind of that first level that I'm watching to see it push up there. If we can, um, capturing that, if we can capture the 8 EMA, and 841, that'd be um, kind of the next level, and then 848 and 861 are kind of the next levels, right? So again, kind of this high 820s level, 827, 829 first, then I'm watching 8 EMA at 841, then 848 as a um, resistance level, and then 861. So those are all resistance levels um, as Tesla starts to push up that I'll be watching, but if we see continued weakness tomorrow, we've got the 34 EMA coming at 791, if we can break 800s, um, which is getting pretty close to in the after hours. And if we keep going, 775 is next, and then 749. I think it's, I think, you know, with the weakness today, it'll be really interesting to see what happens. Um, I think it could go either way, honestly. We could see it rebound like it did last time, right? Perfect kind of example where we were below um, the eight in the 21, and the next day we broke above the 21. But I think for that to happen, we're gonna need a decent amount of momentum. And with the way, again, with the way it was trading today, um, you know, the overall market wasn't too bad, but Tesla was down almost uh, five and a half percent at this point. Um, that's something that's going to be, you know, kind of really important for us to see as we move forward. But I've laid out kind of the support and resistance levels that I'm looking at. My only play on Tesla right now is I hold a vertical put spread that's decently out of the money. It's um, you know, near the, the 730, 740s level. So not too worried about that just yet, but don't currently own any other positions in Tesla. Um, I've kind of traded in and out of Tesla for the time being. So um, let me know down in the comment section how you guys are trading Tesla and I'd love to chat with you guys down there. Uh, let's remember to be a bit better every single day and until next time.